Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As usually, I'm gonna show you the Forza Tom and also the cars that I took for the championships. So let's see, first of all, let's go to the photo challenge. What do you need to do? You need to go to the viaduct. Now, where is that located? It's very simple. It's here at the Flying Sco Scotsman. So just teleport to that one. And there is the viaduct. So go in photo mode and just take a picture of that one. That's basically all you need to do. Then let's go to the Forzaton. Here at the Forzaton shop we have the Austin Martin. It's actually a nice car. I have <coughs> tuned that car a long time ago and I, I like the car. It's not the fast but it's a very good car. And then here the Gilia TZ2. That's actually an OP car so you definitely need that car. And then we have some clothing and some noise makers. So let's have a look what we need to do. We need to have the Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. And then we need to win six street events. And we need to do five track and five show off skills. Now, what do you need to do for the street event? It's very easy. So let's go to the streets. Now here you have the Coastal Charge. That's the street event I always take. Um, also I have a S1 tune for it. It's actually very grippy, very fast. You don't see the Dravatars anyway. I have the drag tune on for now. What you can do then is just put difficulty on new racer and you have no problems winning with this car. Then what we need is we need to go to the drag strip. I just took the festival one that's here and just do it five times. Now, as you can see, I have my tunes here. I'll load. This one is for drag. This one is for the race. Now, basically, you can stay in the S1 900 for the Fortaton race, so it doesn't really matter if you take the drag tune or not, but you can always use it. But if you have it on new racer, you can basically stay in this tune. Then the next one is also something that is the show off. Now, what do you need to do in the show off skill? You need to pass someone while you drift, but it needs to be in an event. So the thing is, where I always go to is here i'll put it on it's a road racing series the hollywood park circuit you have a lot of bands where you can actually drift and pass them now there are others um where you can do it but i just take this one it's very easy just pass one pass the dravatar while you drift so that's for the fortaton was uh, pretty easy then let's go to the championships now, I was lucky that my team of the trial actually had a few good drivers in it, so I didn't have to redo it. Now, the trial. What do we need for that? As you can see, A800 Super Hot Hatch. There's a car I always take for that. I also took it this time. I'll show you the Super Hot Hatch. There you go. Now, I took the Mercedes A45 AMG. I've been taking that for so long and it still always works. Um, but if you have this car, I don't know if everybody has it, but this one is also a very good car to use in the trial. But if you don't have it, just take the Mercedes A45 with my tune on and you won't have problems winning the trial. Now, what do we win from the trial? we win a modern race helmet, a white one. Then let's have a look at playgrounds, summer games. Here we need a C600 rods and customs. Now rods and customs. Let's go. As you can see, there are a lot of cars that you can actually use. Now let's go to the C-Class. This is a car that I'll be using, my Chevrolet Impala. Now it's a long boat. Uh, you can also use this one. So I probably, I'm gonna use the Chevrolet, the Impala. 
but you can also use the utility sedan for that so that's what i would take now what can we win we win the playmout fury actually this car then next one lotus eaters so what do we need a 800 lotus let's have a look at our lotus there you go so you have several lotuses that you can actually use um i use this one the exige um it's not the fastest and top speed but it has a very good handling this one is a little bit more slidey um but you can also use this weird one because it has it doesn't have a good top speed but you can basically go full throttle in every corner that you want so i would take either this one or this one because there are lotuses you can't buy and i always take a card that you can actually buy now what can we win from that we win the lotus to 11. that's actually this one now let's go to the other one the sun never sets we need a 800 retro saloon so let's go to the retro saloons there you go so you have a few options of course the rover if you have the rover that is of course the op car because you have a big ass engine in it um, but if you don't have it you can take the audi rs for avant i tuned that i tested that and i had no problems winning it um, it also has a high rpm engine i really like that car uh, this is the car that you can actually win from this event the bentley turbo i will take it out after i done my stunts then old school chic classic sports car d500 there's only one car i always take for that event oh wait and that is i'll go to it the nice smiley car that smarty car is just OP. It's just so fast and so good in every race that you can easily win with that car. Now, what can we win from that? We win the Lexus LFA. Okay, that's for the championships. So let's have a look at the stunts. First of all, here we need to do a speed zone so i just start from here i think it was yeah now we have two cars that are always good for that either the ferrari 509 xxe or the mosler so if you have the ferrari or the mosler take that one but everyone should have at least the mosler i just take my road tune and then just be careful with traffic and the corners the motor and the ferrari has have uh, such a high acceleration fast acceleration that you don't need to do much uh, that was a mistake uh, i was a little bit distracted by the traffic car but this is the way you should do it now you can also do it the other way There is a part here, if you can't get it, that you can actually hit the wall. I don't know, uh, in my previous video I actually showed that. So just stay, if you can't get it, but normally you should be able to get it. I have every assist off, that's why my um, muzzler is a little bit harder to handle. So if you can't get it from the other side, what you can do is put away the wall. And then, oh, that was a nice one. Just actually use the bridge. As you can see. There you go. So you have two options. Um, I have a new PB. I didn't even try decent. But that doesn't matter. You can use either the normal way. Or you can just use the bridge. 
Then this one, that was an annoying one actually. Uh, it should be easy, but I had so much traffic that I hit three times traffic. Just start far enough. Ah, uh, there's one with the Ferrari actually. There you go. So that was also very easy. Then the last stunt is somewhere... What was that? It was that little jump. I can't find it anymore. It's disappeared. Should be here on the right. Huh. Ah, here it is. Just start from here. Now, there are two cars that you can take. Um, the motor or the Ferrari, but there's actually another car that you can take. That should be the Lotus. This one. If somebody has it, you can always try it. You can actually use that too. Now, the Mosler and the Ferrari are better uh, because they're way faster. But this one is pretty stable. You need to start a little bit further than what I just did. But this should be also enough. So that's it for the championships and also for the stunts. Here the monthly rivals and online adventure. Just do it once and qualify for online adventure once. Or if you've never done it, you need to do it 10 times and then you only have to do it once a month. So let's have a look at the new car that we won. I'll go to the city since it's a fancy expensive car. Well, in real life, not in the game. So let's go into the Bentley and then here, this one, I'm actually very curious what we can do with this car. It looks like a car to just come here and shop. So this is a new car. A fancy old Bentley. Let's have a look inside. There you go. It's a Turbo R. At the moment it's a uh, real drive. Maybe you should uh, tune it for drifting. Why not drift an old expensive car? So this is the new car for this week of the summer. Now our garage is upgraded to a thousand spots. Um, I do want to say something about that um, because I really do not like things. So you have a thousand spots now in the garage. The thing is, if you are a tuner or a painter, you still can have only 500 um, tunes of paints. Or only 400. So I have 405 tunes and I am constantly need to delete stuff. So for that, please upgrade the tunes and designs. There are many people that also have that problem. Um, fix stuff like this instead of keep adding, adding new cars um, or useless cars that we don't need. Add stuff that we can actually use this time. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope my choices made you get the cars. I'll be streaming on Twitch tonight at 9.30 CSD so hopefully everybody comes and join me and so we can have fun on the stream and also get the new seasonal cars. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye